morning, Love AME. Good morning, Love Agents, family, and friends. Welcome to Love AME Church. We thank you for worshiping with us on this morning on this very special Fresh Start preaching series. We pray God's richest blessings over you and your family. God bless you all. the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. We bless God this morning for bringing us out to worship together. Amen. To be in this house once again to give him praise, glory, and honor that only he is due. Amen. And we praise him this morning for many reasons, but we also want to take time to praise him because there is power in the blood. There's power in the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ. Come on, y'all clap your hands. Amen. We want the power of that same God, the true and living God, to rise upon us day in and day out. Hallelujah. So we say this. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of my King rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. 
Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of my King rise among us. Oh, let it rise. And we sing, oh. Come on now, AP, help me say that, let the glory in. Let the glory of the Lord rise, rise among us. Let the glory, let the glory of the Lord yeah. rise among us. Let the praises rise, rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord say, let the glory of the Lord let it rise, rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord The praise let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord sing. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord let it rise. Let the joy of our King. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Come on, sing that one more time. Let the songs of the Lord rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise. Let the joy of the King sing. Rise. We cry. Let the glory of the Lord say, let, let the, the glory of the Lord let it rise. rise among us. That's what let we the glory want to do. Let it rise. With the praises of my king. Yeah, yeah. Rise let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord say, the Lord. we want them to rise. rise Flow from heart to heart to Lord. you, Lord. Let the joy of a king be a testimony. Rise yeah. among Let it rise. In this voice we cry out, oh, oh, we want it to on, rise. We cry out, oh, your glory to rise. Yeah. Yeah. Rise in this place, yeah. Rise up in the sky. Let it rise. We don't want nothing else but you, God. We move ourselves out of the way. We want you to rise. Be exalted in the earth. Your grace shall we down a blessing upon us, God, and let it rise. Let it rise. We want to let it rain, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it, let it rise. Oh, we want it to rise. So we sing, oh. Parts, oh, 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 oh,
let it rise, let it rise. Yes, it will. Oh, let it rise, let it rise. Don't stop letting it rise. Come on, come on, come on. Don't stop letting the glory of the Lord rise in this place. This is the sanctuary. This is the day that the Lord has made. I don't know about you. I didn't come here not to rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you. Let the glory of the Lord rise in this place. Anybody want the glory of the Lord to rise on the inside of you? If you want the glory of the Lord to rise on the inside of you, offer him some type of worship right now. Offer him a praise. Offer him a wave offer. Put your holy hands together. Only if you want the glory of the Lord to rise inside of you. I don't care if you're at home right now or online, but if you want the glory of the Lord to rise up inside of you, you want the glory of the Lord to rise up inside of your family, inside of your household, on your job, show them right now. Tell them, don't tell me, tell me. Tell them right now. Glory to God on this morning to somebody. We are standing in the gates, O oh Jerusalem. Thank you, O oh God. Right now, we're going to, good morning, love agents. Good, good morning, family and friends, visitors. Right now, we're going to have prayer by Reverend Dr. Gertie. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, oh merciful, faithful, loving God, our creator. Father, we just praise your name, for you are worthy, worthy to be praised. Father, forgive us of any sins that we may have committed through thought, word, or deed, and help us to forgive others. Father, we just thank you for just waking us up this morning and getting us here safely and those online, getting them up safely, Father. We thank you for our pastor and first lady, Reverend Natisan and Tanya Natisan and family. Father, you thank, we, we thank you for all the great things you're doing for us here at Love and the Love Agents. Now, Father, we ask that you would keep our pastor up upgirded in his family that he may get new and enthusiastic agents let the word that goes out today has somebody say what must I do to be saved what must I do to join this church what must I do to come back to the Lord we ask you to be with our children in this we pray, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Amen, somebody, one more time, amen. All right, at this time, I would like to direct your attention to the monitors. We're going to have our video announcements. are your This Week at Love announcements. Believers Bible Study. Watch it on Facebook Live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Boss Life Bible Study. You don't want to miss this. Join us every Wednesday at 12 noon via Facebook Live for a powerful lunch and learn spiritual message. Daily inspiration. Text Love AME to 545454. That's three five fours to receive the daily inspirational text. All right, love agents, we have some upcoming events and I'm super excited about it in this 2022. Love agents, selfless living is the art of giving and God loves a cheerful giver. For your convenience, here are your online giving options.
All right, love agents, family, and friends, we are in the month of August, and we continue our Fresh Start series. Today, get your hearts ready to receive a mighty word from the Lord. We have our very own Reverend Dr. Edna Jenkins delivering a mighty word from the Lord on this morning. And that's just the beginning. Kickstart your week with a Monday morning prayer call at 7.30 a.m. Can you say fun, fun, and more fun? Join us on Saturday, August the 27th from 12 noon to 4 p.m. at Lake Arbor Community Center for the Love AME 2022 Summerfest Back to School Giveaway. You don't want to miss this. All right, ladies, October is fast approaching, and you know what that means. It's women's season. Rejuvenate your mind, body, spirit, and soul with this year's October 2022 women's season. More details coming soon. Those are your announcements for today. I'm Minister Angelina. Be blessed, healed, and filled with the radiant light of God. I dare you to trust God. Praise the Lord, somebody. I don't know about you. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord just another time to serve a mighty and a magnificent God. Amen. And I uh, just have a couple announcements that I want to let you know about. It's been in the program, but on tomorrow, somebody say tomorrow. Love agents, I need you on our church conference. It's at 7 p.m. Uh, on Zoom. Details have been emailed out previously, but we will resend those out again uh, for you. But at 7 p.m., please be on there. We have some organizational things that we'll be doing on tomorrow, so please be on there. Also want to let you know, Believer's Bible Study this week, this Thursday, we have none other than our very own Reverend Dr. Poe Ray, who is going to be uh, teaching a mighty word. Y'all know that pastor is a mighty teacher, and y'all better get a word from the doctor. There's a, you know, sometimes you got to go, something, something wrong with your elbow, you go to the doctor. Well, guess what? Something wrong with your spirit, or maybe things are good and you want to keep it in shape, you go to the doctor. And we got a doctor that's going to give you a good word on Thursday. Amen. And somebody say, next week. Next week, we have our own minister, Stuart Hollingsworth. Amen. He's a preacher somebody. The young, young fellow is uh, uh, going to come and preach on next week, and we are excited about it. And so he'll be preaching next week at our 10 a.m. service. All right. Say next week, too. Yeah, yeah. He'll be like, what? We got more than one thing on next week? That's right. That's right. That's right. So here's the thing. I need y'all to come out and support here on next week. Come on. Fill the building on next week. Fill our stream on next week. Uh, but be praying for me as well, amen? And so what we're going to be doing is I have the distinct honor of preaching at Reed Temple next week, amen? And uh, super excited about the opportunity. And as I'll be preaching their morning service, uh, I need y'all not on that morning service. I need y'all on this morning service, amen? But what we will do uh, is at 12 p.m., we'll post that service on our page. And it would have already, it would just be a replay but it'd be good to have your interaction together. And so if y'all don't mind joining me at 12 p.m. online, amen, because I'm going to hop online with y'all so I can uh, comment with you uh, 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 for the singers and stuff. I won't be commenting for me, amen. But, uh, but please join us for both. We got uh, Stuart going to be holding it down here at 10 a.m., then at 12 p.m. online. You know, you might just have it up while you at brunch. I don't know. Somebody might get blessed at the table. At, at the table. At the table. Somebody say amen. It's not too late. It's a, tell somebody, it's not too late to donate. It's not too late to donate. We're going to be having our, um, our back to school summer fest. It's amazing. I, I don't know who it was. It, was, it might have been Sister Debbie that shared a flashback. Uh, or maybe, or maybe it was just on mine. But people, brother Mike, there it is. Brother Mike shared it, and it was a flashback. It was an awesome flashback 
from our very first summer fest we had at Tall Oaks High School. We were out there grilling out there. Matter of fact, I think we, we might have put somebody in the water right out there. Oh I think God. we might have had our first outdoor baptism out there in the little pool, in the baby pool, amen. That pool was falling apart, but we was still sticking them down and pulling them up, amen. Come on down. Get on up. Get on up. Get on up. Don't stay there. Don't stay there, right? But uh, we had a good time, but I'm excited to let you know that on the 27th, we're going to have uh, the Love Back to School Summer Fest at Lake Arbor. Somebody say amen. Y'all, anybody heard of the Jazz Fest? It's all right to like jazz. Y'all heard of the Jazz Fest? That thing has blossomed from something small to something major. Guess what? The same thing's going to happen right here at Lake Arbor with the Love Back to School Summer Fest. Amen. And so right now, I think maybe a week ago, they already had 140 kids signed up. Guess what? If they're signed up, we need to be signed up. So you'll get an email. If you go on Facebook, you see our flyer. There's a link where you can register or you can walk by the center. Registration is how many dollars? No dollars. It's free. Free registration. We got backpacks, school supplies, which Love AME is providing the backpacks and school supplies for over 300 children. So go ahead, if you want to donate on our drop-down, hit up the, uh, yeah, amen. Isn't God good? Isn't God good? We've been doing this for seven years. This is our seventh time doing it in our community. We've done it throughout this county in different places, in Bowie and Capitol Heights, and now right here in Mitchellville, Largo. And so I'm excited about it, amen? All right, last but not least, we sent off one of our amazing young ministers, uh, to go back to school on last week. Didn't she do a great job on last week? Let's give it up for Minister T, amen? But in addition to that, we know she's been our praise and worship leader, but she got to go to school, y'all. She'll be back. She'll be back. But you know what? God always has a ram in the bush. Somebody say God has a ram in the bush. All right, I need y'all to, uh, uh, I don't know, Tony, can you put it on my main man? Put it on my main man. All right, uh, that's my man. You can pull it down for a second. I want y'all to, uh, uh, to, to see who you already know. Let's put it together for who you already know. Let's put it together for who we already know. This young brother has been doing a mighty job. And we didn't have to leave the building. Somebody said we didn't have to leave the building to find what we needed. It was right here, Amen. And so Brother Shaquan Williams will be taking over, and he's going to be leading our music ministry. Amen. And I realize and I know we are in good hands. Amen. And, 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 and there's more in store. There's more in store. But I'm going to hold back on some of the details, uh, on some of the details. I'll give you a pinch of it, but I don't want y'all putting that pressure on them just yet. Amen. But when September comes, when September comes, uh, uh, I, I'm going to mention it, right? But y'all, I'm going to let y'all know. Don't put the pressure on them just yet. But when September comes, uh, this young brother is going to be working with our youth. Amen? He's going to be working with our youth, and I'm super excited about it. I remember we were here after service, and we had a talk, and the anointing fell, and we were just, God gave me some questions to ask him, and, and, and I didn't understand. He told me one question not to ask him, another question to ask him. I asked that question, which gave me direction that this is a, this a kid that comes out of a preaching tree, and, uh, and then I realized the anointing over his life, and then some, because some, it was bothering me. It was like, this guy's, a, he got something on his life. Amen. And I talked with him, and he said, you know, yeah, I accept what the Lord has. Amen. He didn't run from it. Probably already did some running, but, but, uh, but I give God praise, because if they don't run from the calling, watch out for people that don't run from the calling. Amen. People that run to the calling, you beware of them. Because any, any bona fide preacher I know has all ran from the calling. Fast as we could. A little bit. But once you realize that the call is irrevocable and you can't get away from it, you run to it. Amen? Amen. So stretch your hands to my brother. Dear Father God, we thank you for him. We ask that you would use him and bless him. We thank you, dear Father God, how he'll lead and how you'll use the gifting that's already in him, dear Father God. We thank you for the anointing that's resting on his life and how, dear Father God, you knew what he would do before he did. You planned what he would do before he thought he could plan it. We thank you for the reorganizations of his footsteps, oh, Father God. 
We thank you for the words that you use and in in, 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 in how you use them in many ways for your honor, for your glory and your praise. Somebody say amen. amen. All right, all right, all right. I'm excited, I'm excited. And uh, I want to just go ahead and check the house, check the house. If we have anybody who had an anniversary either last week or this week, would you please stand and we, as agape praise comes in, if we had anybody that had an anniversary last week or this week, would you please stand? And if you're watching online, oh my God, if, we, if you're watching online, just type my anniversary. And we want to bless you with this song, amen. Amen. And do we have anybody else that may have celebrated, uh, celebrated a birthday either last week or this week? If you had a birthday, would you please stand? And if you're at line, online, just type, type my birthday. Type my birthday. Amen. And we want to go ahead and sing this song for your birthday now. Give God honor, glory, and praise uh, for everybody. Do we have any first-time visitors in the house? If it's your first time at Love Band Me, would you stand? And if it's your first time watching online, would you type first time? All right, let's put our hands together. Amen. We got a special gift for you. I do want to let you know I'm Pastor Chris of Love Band Me Church, and we strive here to love God, to love ourselves, and to love our community. You are welcome in this place where we go to try to do our best as love agents to share love locally, regionally, nationally, globally. And we just want to welcome you to what we call the love zone. We normally come around, do a whole bunch of fist bumps and elbows. But on today, I just want y'all to stand, turn into somebody, smile with your mask on, and give them the love sign. Amen? All right. All right. Love and me. Come on. Welcome them to the love zone. original. It is an original. All right. At this time, we're going to have our scripture reading. If you could turn with me to the book of Exodus, the chapters, chapter 3, the verses are 1 through 5, and I'll be reading from the NIV version. That's Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. It's amazing how God works. Pastor mentioned there's always a ram in the bush. And our scripture comes from the burning bush. <laughs> 
And it reads, Now Moses was tending to the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the flames of fire from within the bush. Moses, Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight. Why the bush does not burn up? When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from the, within the bushes. God called to him within the, from within the bushes, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals. For the place where you stand, you are standing on holy ground. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. It's offering time, somebody. It's offering time. Amen. Amen. I hope that you are excited for the opportunity to give. Amen. If you're excited, it's all right to put your hands together. If you're online, it's all right to hit the love or the like button. I don't know about you, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging bread. Amen. And I know that we serve a mighty and a magnificent God. And I just give God honor, glory, and praise because I realize he's always made a way in my life. Amen. If you need an envelope, just raise your hand. But we do have electronic ways in which you can give. You can give on our app. Uh, you can give. Uh, you can give online at loveandmechurch.org. Loveandmechurch.org backslash give. Cash app is dollar sign love ame. Or you can put cash or check in an envelope. Amen. But either way, however you're giving, uh, if you're in here, go ahead and stand and put your device in your hand if it's electronic or what have you. And we just want to pray and go before the Lord, amen, because we understand it's him, not us, that opens up the windows. We pay the time. And Reverend, Reverend Gertie, that just activates his principles. We, we, we just give a tithe, which activates his principles of financial blessing and covering for us, amen. Uh, we pay the tithe, but he does the rebuking, amen. He didn't say, pay the tithe, and then you can open up the window. He didn't say, pay the tithe, and then you can rebuke the canker worms. Don't mean that you can't call on things to happen. But it says that he will open up the windows. It doesn't mean that uh, we pay the tithe, and we go and pour our own blessings out. But it says he'll pour more than we can even handle. Somebody say amen. Dear Father God, we thank you for our tithes. We thank you for our offerings, oh God. We thank you for those that say, uh, uh, who just choose to be at least committed givers, amen. And we just ask that you would use every seed to your honor, to your glory, and to your praise. Have your will and your way, Holy Spirit, for we need you on today. Use these seeds for the upbuilding of this kingdom that we will be able to do the work of the Lord. Somebody say amen, amen, amen. You can follow the direction of the greeters. You can go to your, the wall closer to your section. Come on down around and return back through the middle. Amen. You are good.
worship you, yeah. And sing hallelujah. Lord, you are good. Say, Lord, Lord you, you are, are good. good. And It does. Oh, that's why people from every For who you are, for who you are, I'll 
Alpha and Omega, yeah. The beginning is the end. Amen, amen. He is good. Our God is good. Not some of the time, not a bunch of time, not a, a couple times, not a, not a few times. No, no, no. Our good. God is good. What? All the time. You are good all the time. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm excited to be with you, and I uh, do want to just take a moment. We don't have any stranger in the house that's about to preach. We got family in the house about to preach, amen? Come on, come on, put your hands together for Reverend Dr. Edna Canty Jenkins. She retired from pastoring from the Emory AME Church, a native Washingtonian. Somebody say amen. Licensed to preach at Campbell AME Church under the pastorate of Reverend S.A. Thompson in May of 86. Ordained an itinerant elder in the AME Church in April of 1991. Wow. Reverend Jenkins retired from the pastoral ministry in April 2019. She, I'm going to put a, 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 a footnote right here, but I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> she currently serves on the ministerial staff of the Love AME Church right here. And we're so blessed to have her. She's our pastor of ministries. Reverend Jenkins received her early education in the D.C. public school system. She earned a Bachelor of Science degree from D.C. Teachers College in Speech Pathology, a Master of Science degree from Federal City College, a Master of Divinity from Howard University School of Divinity, and May of 1999 received the Doctor of Ministry degree from United Theological Seminary in Dayton, Ohio. She a bad woman, y'all. Uh-huh, she been about her business. Reverend Jenkins retired from D.C. public schools after 25 years of service. Was employed by the Community Ministry of Prince George's County. She also served as an assistant professor of biblical studies at Maple Springs Baptist Bible College. Adjunct instructor, I could go on and on. I could go on and on. She, uh, she's an anointed mama and grandmama, right? Uh, she got countless uh, nieces and nephews. And, 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 now, I count myself as a son, <laughs> right? Uh, and, 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 you know, I got me a bonus mom, amen? And I'm grateful for it. But let me tell you this. This is a woman that loves God. I could have just came up here, said that, and set my behind down. Because she has all the accolades that you can look for anybody to have. But what she has is an anointing of the Holy Spirit, amen? A filling of the Holy Spirit. And what she has is a desire to lift others, amen? Because she believes we can be our best selves, even if we're not that already. How y'all doing? God bless you, amen? And so... After this demonic selection, the next voice you will hear be, will be none other than Reverend Dr. Edna Candy Jenkins, a woman who stopped by just to visit, had other plans, but the Spirit of God said, no, you stay here. And the rest of us said, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say Amen. Amen. To God be the glory.
thinks you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. You are the living word, the bread of life, sin down from glory. Sing bread of heaven, bread of heaven, sin down from glory, many things. Come. Jesus, Jesus. Say bodies begin to become. 
come healed when you come. Minds are regulated when you come. Everything's strange when you come. That's why we call on the name of Jesus. Because there's power. to say a little wretch like me made you born on a tree you died to give grace to a sinner man like me like me made you born but on a tree yeah you let him scorn your name so that I can be free, yeah. That's why you are the living word. Yeah. You are the living word. Everything you said you've done, you are the living word. Hey, you are the living word. Come on, everybody. Come on, every Sing you are. You are the living word. If you know we took your place. Eh? You are the living word. If you know we took your place, say, you are the living word. If you know you don't deserve, say, you are the living word. Sing, you are the living way. You are the living word. Sing, you are the living way. You are the living word. Lord, we thank you for your son. You are the living word. We thank you for your sacrifice. You are the living word. The way you hung, bled, and died. The way you hung, bled, and died. You are the living And you let the place you went a borrow tomb. You are the living word. And you let the place you went a borrow tomb. You are the living But you didn't stay there, no. You are the living But you didn't stay there, no. You are the living But you got up with the power of You are the That's why you are the living word. You're born, but on a tree you died to say humanity. Come on, everybody, say, You, you are, are the living Jesus, 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 that's what we call you, oh, hey, hey, Jesus, you are the living word, oh, speak to our hearts, Holy Spirit, because you are the living word, yeah, 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 he is. The living word. He is the alpha and the omega. Hallelujah. I thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for my pastor giving me this opportunity. And in his words, I'm super excited, Reverend Gertie. Super excited. Y'all don't know, I feel like this is my initial, oh yeah, my initial sermon. Last uh, Sunday, Minister Tia, thank you. You know, I might, I'm a little older than I look. Don't tell it. But she preached, God is going to do a new thing. And he's doing a new thing, even in this old thing. He's doing a new thing because he's God. And God has a purpose and a plan for all of us. 
as Pastor said, I came to visit. I came to visit and ain't left since. Because God spoke to me and said, this is where you need to be. I'm like Elizabeth. They said the, when she came into the presence of Mary carrying the baby Jesus in the, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, the babe leaped in her womb. And I believe God is going to do a new thing in somebody today. I thank God for Brother Shaquan and hallelujah for the calling. Because today we're going to look at call a calling. You heard the scripture that Reverend John read, and that was the calling of Moses. And I believe that he's going to call somebody today. Because we are standing on holy ground. And I can feel the rush of angels. I see glory on each face, even behind your mask. I see the glory of God. Hallelujah. We are standing on holy ground right now. And as Reverend John read, Moses and everybody that's been to Sunday school and been in church for a minute knows about Moses. And we're going to visit him today from the book of Exodus. Exodus traditionally was written, am I right, by Moses. And I thought about it, really, what we're looking at in chapter 3 is his testimony. Because God called him. He had a plan for his life even before he was born. If you look in the first chapter, it talked about the fact that they were killing all boy babies. But his mama, his mother, recognize that there's something different about this boy. And I believe your mother said the same thing. It's something different. I got to protect his life. Reverend John, Chris, they knew, she knew it was something different about that boy. God had a plan. God had a plan. And he had a plan for uh, each of us. And so I invite each of you to take off your them green shoes today. Because we are on holy ground. And holy ground is wherever the presence of the Lord is. That's what makes it holy. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. He is God. He is God. Now, Father God, I ask that you would speak to me, through me. Speak, Holy Spirit, for we are listening. Lord God, I ask that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable unto you. For you are my strength, my rock. Oh, yes, Lord and my Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen, amen, amen. And as Reverend John read, it was <laughs> Moses was in the wilderness. And Reverend Gertie, I want you to know he was 80 years old. That, I want you to know you ne it's, ne you, it's never too late for you to hear from God. When I looked through the word, God spoke to David. Call day. Call. It's about calling today. God had calls us. We used to sing that old song, Jesus calls us over the tumult, over 
what's going on around us. There's a lot going on around us, but Jesus is still calling, calling today. And I believe he's calling somebody right now. It's not too late. All right, when we look at the scripture, it said, <laughs> and Moses, and we know he was raised in a palace, but God had a plan. Sent him in the wilderness the next 40 years. He went, in the, went to work for his father-in-law 40 years later. And what we see now is at 80, God wanted to introduce himself to him in a new way. Hallelujah. God's going to do a new thing. Hallelujah. And God speaks. Hallelujah. Moses was just tending the sheep. And all of a sudden, he saw a bush burning. And he said, the bush is burning, but it's not being consumed. It's not burning up. And he said, let me turn around and look. What is this going on? But the key was he had to turn around to look. He turned around, and then he heard. We're looking at Exodus chapter 3, and it says, so he, in the second verse, it said that, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire. Ohio players. Fire! (laughs) Hallelujah. From the midst of a bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. That reminds me in Lamentations 3, it says it's only because of the mercy of God that we have not been consumed. We are here because of the mercy of God. It's only his mercy that some sickness has not taken us out. It's only his mercy uh, that this pandemic, this COVID, cancer, heart attack, We have survived because of the mercy of God. Oh, God is so good. And he's worthy. Hush. Excuse me. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he's worthy of all our praise. Hallelujah. So it said, Moses looked, and then he said, I'm going to turn aside, verse 3, and see this great sight. Why the bush does not burn? Why didn't the bush burn? Because God wouldn't let it burn. Who made the bush? Who made the mountains? Who made the seas? Who made you and me? It's God. And it's because of his mercy that none of us have been consumed. Hallelujah. And, uh, oh, Jesus. Verse 4 says, so when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. He didn't call him once. He called him twice. I don't know about you, but when I was coming up, my mama didn't have to call You know, she would say, I'm not going to call you again. Get up out of that bed. It's time to go. Get up. But God, in his mercy, said, Moses, Moses, God will speak to you. God is always speaking, but are you listening? Are you ready to obey God? Hallelujah. That part. Are you ready? And I want you to know that God speaks through many things. He's always speaking, but are we listening? Hallelujah. And, and, and when God, God is awesome. He knows what we need to get our attention. Because that was the first thing God had to do. Had to get Moses' attention. And God has used things in our lives to get us our attention. That bounce check 
gets our attention, that you got to get your finances together. <laughs> Them bills that come in that you know you got to get your finances together. Unemployment will make you get your attention to know that you got to be able to take care of things yourself, that you can't depend on a job. All you can do is depend on God. Hallelujah. Hey, when we go, wherever we go, when we even go to funerals, God can use that to show us that we too have a, have a, will meet him one day. It'll get you to thinking differently. Most of us leave and we have a sense that we need to get our lives straight. God is always speaking. But are you listening? It's important for us to listen. And we're just saying, Jesus, Jesus, that's what I call him. God said to Jeremiah, if you call me, guess what? I'm going to answer you. If you just call on Jesus, he answers prayer. Hallelujah. And that's what the story is about. Hallelujah. He, if he calls, he told him, told Moses in verse 5, don't, I want you to draw near to me. That's what the purpose is, to draw nearer. Draw me nearer, blessed Lord, to that precious bleeding side. Draw me nearer. I want to be close. Somebody else, I mean, you know, draw me close. I want to be close to you. I want to be close to God. Do you want to be closer to God? He said, if you just ask, I'll give it to you. Hallelujah. Oh, God is speaking, and I pray that God is speaking to somebody online. God speaks everywhere. He speaks in your house. You might be in your kitchen. You might be in the bathroom. You might be in the car. Wherever you are, God will speak. And I believe he said in John 10.10 10, that my sheep ha, know my voice. And it said in 1 Corinthians 14, it said there are many voices in this world. And all of them have somebody is listening to CNN. In, 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 whatever, MBCD, whatever, Fox, oh, yeah, yeah, they listen to everything. But hey, you got to learn how to listen to God. Hallelujah. Because his word, hallelujah, will lead you in the path that he would want you to do. He has a purpose in speaking. God is speaking. And he said, take off your shoes. For the place where you stand is holy ground. I had planned to sing it, Brother Shaquan, but y'all don't really want me to sing it. But there's a song that says, we are standing. You can sing. You sing it. Oh. And I know that there are angels. And I the angels know right here. All around. all around. Hallelujah. I see the angels. I have a vision of Let angels. Yes. Jesus. Jesus now. Let's praise him right now. This is the love zone. Oh, the angels are, are here. In, in his presence. His presence on oh. Yes, this is holy ground because God is here. He promised, he said, if just two or three of you would gather in my name, I'll be in your midst. And if you gather, there's something about gathering on holy ground. Holy ground can be on Facebook, can be on YouTube, but if we get in your car, in your truck, whatever you got, even in the new vehicles, God can speak. 
Hallelujah. What is he saying to you? Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. But we're going to look at verse 7 today. It says, and the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people and have heard their cry. For I know their sorrows. He knows our sorrows, all of our griefs. And he said, I heard your prayer. I heard your prayer last night when you said, Lord, come see about me. When I had COVID, I said, Lord, come see about me. Come see about me. Anybody ever prayed that prayer, Lord? But he said, I have seen what you're going through. I have heard your cries. I heard your prayers. And he said, I'm sending a deliverer for you. I'm sending a deliverer. This deliverer's name was Moses. But God sent a deliverer, Brother Mike, and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. He'll deliver us from whatever we're going through. He, he said, he's saying, if you've got the faith, I've got the power. Just believe it and receive it right now in the name of Jesus. He can do anything but fail. Verse 8 said, he said well, verse 7 continuing, he said, I know your sorrows. So I have come down to deliver you out of the hand of the Egyptians and bring you into a land, a better land, the promised land, that new city. I'm going to bring you to a better place. Can you believe it? Can you receive it? That what you're going through now won't be forever. That's what he told them when they went through the, uh, through the river. They, he said, those enemies you saw before, you'll never see it again. Never. Hallelujah. Because God, 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 God is all about God. God is speaking. And I'm, hey, we had hearing aid today. The Holy Spirit is our hearing aid. Because he's going to speak to us. He's going to talk to us where we are. He didn't talk to Moses in the temple. He didn't talk to Moses in church. He talked to him in the wilderness. But God had to get his attention. And know that whatever you're going through, sometimes it's just to get your attention. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it might be a wilderness experience. It might be in the wilderness. God speaks in the wilderness. He speaks on the mountain. Moses was on the mountain. He'll speak. But you got to listen. He'll call you. But you got to want to answer him. What is God saying to you today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Voices matter. Voices matter. Listen to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to his people. God answers prayer. That's what, why Moses was called. He had a purpose, Brother Shaquan. He knew, just like he told Jeremiah, before you were even in your mother's womb, I called you. I, and like Pastor said, most of us that who have heard, a lot of times we don't want, we want to run the other way. Oh, yeah. Hey, I know. I was told you can't kick against the pricks. Your life is not going to be any good until you answer that call, somebody. Jesus is calling. He wants to do a new thing in you. And we've got to be listening. 
He's getting our attention. Think it not strange with the fiery things that are going on in your life. Don't, it's not strange. God got a purpose for everything we go through. Hallelujah. And he is God. And what I want to say is that uh, in this wilderness experience, in verse 10, God says, come, and I'm going to send you. When I was little, when I would go to vacation Bible school, they said, children, go where I send thee. Go where I send you. You don't know where God is going to send you, Shaquan. Brother John, Biggie, God sent us here for such a time as this. We don't know what God is doing, but he's always doing something. And he told me to tell you that all things are working together for you're good if you love him and according to his purpose, not your purpose, not my purpose, not pastor's purpose, but God has a purpose because he has to get our attention. The fire has to burn in you to give you a desire to stop Listen, mm. I keep getting these song, old school songs. Stop listening to my heart and what it's saying. Stop listening to what God is saying. He said stop. He put a stop sign in the wilderness, in the desert to stop. Sometimes it might be through sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was laying on my bed of affliction, David said it was good that I was afflicted. Sometimes we need to thank God for the problems that we have because we're too busy running. He said, I'm going to make you lie down in green pastures so I can restore you. God is a God of restoration. He has a purpose for everything everything. And we've got to trust him that he knows what's best for us. So, mm, stop, look, and listen to what the Lord is saying to you today. He's calling you. They have a song saying, yes. Yes calling you higher, higher, higher to a different level, calling you out of your comfort zone. It's been comfortable watching, just laying in the bed or wherever on, on, on our devices. But sometimes we got to move. God wants you to move. He's going to take you higher. It's your choice. Hallelujah. A call is your choice. Moses chose to turn to look at the bush to see what God was doing. And God is always doing something. Always. He's working. Working behind the scenes. Even that supervisor that ain't doing you right. He'll use that because he knows we need to get on our knees sometime. Because he said it's not by your might nor by your power, but by my spirit that God has a purpose. So today, I just want to thank God as we move down that passage <laughs> Moses in verse 13 said, when I come to the children of Israel, and if I say the God of your fathers has sent me to you, 
And they say, what is his name? What shall I say? He said, say, I am who I am. I'm whatever you need me to be. If you need a blessing, I got it. If you need finances, I got it. If you need a friend, I'm a friend that step, sticks closer than any brother. Whatever you need, because I am that I am. Oh, I thank God for introducing himself. He said, I, he said, I'm the God of your fathers and your mothers, your grandmother, who planted those seeds in you, who drug you to church, who taught you about God, even taught you now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to to take. Oh, God is speaking. God is calling. And so, if anybody will listen, God is speaking to us. And he said, my name, this is my name forever. I am that I am and my memorial to all generations. We are here because God made a covenant with our parents. I would just want to end and say that somebody prayed for me. My father prayed for me, my mother, oh, because they knew I was standing in the need of prayer. I didn't have enough sense to pray for myself, but God is a God of covenant. He's a covenant-keeping God. He promised Abraham. That's what he said. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I'm going to deliver you because I made a promise. He's a promise keeper. Agape praise sings that. He's a way maker, a miracle worker. And a promise keeper. So don't you worry about a thing. Stephen Wonder said, don't you worry about a thing. Mama, oh, yes, mamas. Don't worry about nothing. Them children are going to be all right. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them children are going to be all right. Because I heard your prayers. I heard you cry. I pitied every groan. That's why I love the Lord, because he heard my cry and pitied every groan. And as long as I live, I'll hasten to his throne. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. Keep on pushing. Pushing, praying until something happens. Keep on pushing. Keep on trying. Keep on believing because God will send an angel. He'll send a bush. He'll make a bush. He'll make whatever you need to, to what he needs to do to get your attention. And guess what? While you are in that wilderness, he will introduce himself to you. That's what Job said. I read about you. I heard about you. But now I know you. If I'd never been sick, I wouldn't know that he was a healer. Hallelujah. If I've never been broke, I wouldn't know that he was a provider. God is speaking through our every experience. Is the bush burning for you? Are you listening enough to turn aside and see what God is saying? God is speaking. God is speaking and God is working in your life. 
He's working. My husband's favorite song, he would play every morning. Jesus is going to work it out if you let him. But you got to let him do it. He'll work it out, whatever it is. Just trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your understanding, because you can't understand it. Because he is the great I am. He knows all things. He knows your end from the beginning. And I'm going to leave with this scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans for your future to give you hope and to bring you to an expected end. That's what he did for Moses. He had plans for Moses that Moses didn't know about and brought him to an expected end because he called him to be a deliverer. Who has God called you to deliver? Is it that person sitting next to you on your job? Your family member? He has a purpose and a plan. God is speaking. So I say, Father God, thank you. Teach us to listen. Teach us to hear. Teach us to trust you. To lean on you, Lord. God, I thank you for speaking on Facebook, on YouTube. God, your voice is all over the world because the earth is yours. The fullness thereof and all of us that dwell therein. So we say, speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. We are listening, God, because we know you have a purpose and a plan for us. And you said, if you seek me, you will find me. So seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he's near. So we thank you for your word. We ask that you would seal it in Jesus' name. If somebody on the internet heard Jesus speaking to them, if somebody in the sanctuary, this holy ground, heard God speaking to them, it calls for a response. We can't ignore it and just walk away like it was nothing. God wants you to turn aside and see what he's been doing in your life, that he's been calling you for such a time as this. You might not know his plans, but he has a plan for you. He has a purpose for you. So give your heart to him today. Listen to this burning bush. Listen. Imagine this is the bush talking. This is not Edna. This is the bush talking. Can't you hear? Withholding nothing. Give yourself to the Lord. And if this is your first time really hearing from the Lord that I heard you, type it in the chat and say, I heard you, God. I heard you. I know what you were saying to me. You called and I say, yes, Lord. When God called Moses, he said, here am I, Lord. Send me to do your will. Send me. Here am I. Give yourself to Jesus today. Give yourself to the Lord. He has a purpose for you being here. 
It's no accident that you're still here. All the stuff you've gone through. Some of you dodge bullets. Some of you escaped car accidents. You could have OD'd by now. But God has a purpose for you. Listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Listen. Will your answer be yes? Is your answer today, if you're in need of a church home, I want you to look at the chat and you'll see it. Don't be homeless. This is a shelter in the time of storm now. This is a shelter. God said, come on in. Come on in. Oh, this is a shelter in the time of storm. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church. Because God is speaking. I thank you, Lord, for the power of the Holy Spirit that's calling us. And our answer, Lord, will be yes. Lord, yes. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going to turn it over to the pastor, the angel. Oh, the angel of this house. That's what he calls pastors. Looking at Revelation. He said, to the angel of the house. He's going to speak to the angel of the house to give the invitation even more. Pastor. Standing all over the church. Standing all over the church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but there was a powerful message that went forth. Because in this world today, bring me up a little bit. Bring me up a little bit, Mike, please. We get so preoccupied with everything around us. Many of us are dealing with storms on the left, storms on the right, storms in the house, storms at the job, storms in our bodies, storms in our relationships, storms in our spirit. And we got to understand that the word will stop. So right now, I just charge you to stop. I charge you by the, uh, the good God Almighty. You deliver the prophetic word. She's a sage. But she's a sage that also operates in the prophetic. And you got to stop. So right now, I just ask you to close your eyes and uh, bow your head and just stop for a second. Stop worrying about that thing. Stop stressing yourself out about what you cannot change yourself. Stop. Stop. Because they're before us. And those at home, stop doing what you're doing. It's worship time. If you want to worship from home, still worship. Stop. If you're driving, maybe find a safe place where you can pull over. But stop. Stop holding on and trying to make everything fit in neatly the way you want it to. God didn't design it that way. God's plan is bigger than ours. And unless we turn around and pay attention to what God is doing right around us, Yes, this isn't working. But if we stop, we can see what is. But we have to look. But in our looking, we can't look at that. 
This whole month is focused on a fresh start. We got to look at what is God doing now? How is God moving now? What is God asking of me now? What is God calling me to? But I don't know about you. I, I, I literally carry not one but two phones. My wife got two phones, work phone, home phone. Oh, and, and we got a home phone, five phones. But none of them will work unless we answer. Five phones represents grace. I didn't know why I'd go that route, but God said, I've given you grace, but will you answer the calls? It's an unusual time for this, but I believe I got to operate a little differently right now. I, you know, I, I'm ready to go home and, and get me a little some vittles or whatever, but somebody got a calling on their life. Maybe you're at home or maybe you're in the room. Somebody's been wrestling because the reason it doesn't work out, the reason it doesn't fit is because you're in the wrong position and God didn't call you to be a follower. God called you to be a boss. But you won't do the work to be a boss. So you deal with discomfort, but God's calling you to be a boss. But you stay in the uncomfortable because you're familiar with it. In the midst of your stopping, if you realize that God is calling you and someone is going, someone has a call for ministry. I, I, I don't know who it is. And it doesn't mean that you'll even be a minister here. God may call you to do something different, but somebody needs to say, today I answer my call. Amen? If that's you and you know God has been calling you for something and you've been, you, you, you have not stopped and listened to what it is, I ask you to come on down to the altar right now if you're in the house. If you're in the house, come on, begin moving, begin moving, begin moving. It's all right. Begin moving. Begin. We can clap for her. That's right. Amen. Amen. But somebody else needs to come on down. Amen. Praise be unto God. Praise be unto God. Praise be unto God. I, I, I believe. I see one. I see two. But I believe that there's more. I believe that there's more. May someone check online. Let me know what's happening. God, good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. And you know what? It's interesting. I, 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 I was able, I was joking with uh, uh, the Roysters, and I saw they had their green and their black and all that, uh, red, black, and green and stuff on. And I said, yeah, I didn't get the memo. My God, my God, my God, look at God. And, and, and you, good, good God Almighty, somebody has some black or some gray on, my God, and God is calling you. Somebody, and, and, yeah, I did not understand. My, I said, man, I didn't get the memo. I'm like, oh, everybody's all colorful. Why do I have this outfit? But I look at the people that came down, and they got black on, black and white on, and another shade of black. Is there another person? I want you to look at your outfit right now and just ask yourself, am I sure? My God. Whew. Is somebody online? If you're online and you know God is calling you, just say, it's me, it's me, it's me, amen. Say, it's me, it's me, amen. If you two would step up forward, if you three would step up forward, may, may you take a step over a little bit, a little bit further than you two.
we all got different calls in our lives. Amen? But, but in, in those calls, I want us to realize when we look at those that were called, regardless of what the call is, if we look at what happened in the Bible, the oil would pour. Amen? The oil would pour. Amen? <laughs> See, I, good God Almighty. See, I was going to lay hands, but actually I'm not to lay hands. I'm just going to pour this anointing oil on you. Amen? Put your hands up. I give God praise because everybody had a different thing they were called to, amen? And everybody had a different response, but all of them had the same response, and that was a yes. That was a yes, a yes, a yes, a yes, and we give God honor, glory, and praise. Let us pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for fresh starts. We thank you for grace, fresh grace. We thank you for mercy, fresh mercy, dear Father God. We thank you for favor, fresh favor. We thank you for blessings, fresh blessings. We thank you, dear Father God, for the infilling of your Holy Spirit, oh Father God. We thank you for moving in our lives, our families' lives, our children's lives, our brothers and sisters' lives, our parents' lives, our grandparents' lives, our church's life, in the life of the believers, oh God. Not just here, but across the globe, oh God. Have your will and have your way and help us to stop, to look, and to listen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Stand it where you are. If there's one and you know that God is calling you today for salvation, raise your right hand. Is there anybody? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Right over here, if I can have one a minister to pray with him. And if there's a, and before we do, is there one that realize, you know what, today is today, today, before you pray, before you pray, before you pray, before you pray, Ram Gertie, uh, if there's, if, there's, if there's one that also realized today God is saying, you know what, get anchored. Get anchored. 
It's a church right here. Get anchored. Is there one? Would you raise your hand? Raise your hand if you feel like God is saying get anchored. And if you're at home and for salvation, type sign me up. Type sign me up to join the church. Type, type, well, for, to join the church, type sign me up. And for salvation, just type it's me. Let's pray the prayer for salvation for everybody. Just repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Help me to live your way and not my own. I know now I am saved. Fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise be unto God. Praise be unto God. And if you want to join this church, just type sign me up. If you're in here, come, come tell me after service. And we'll go ahead and fill out a card for you and accept you as one of our new members. Uh, it'd be my honor and my privilege for you to come and join this church. Amen? All right. Say your name, my brother. Sean. Turn around, Brother Sean. Brother Sean has made a decision to give his life to Jesus, but also made a decision to join Love AME Church on a day. Let's put our hands together for Brother Sean. Uh -huh. Praise. Hey, our church is now what? And our church is now what? Because of you, amen? And we believe that your life will be better and stronger too. And you're standing on what? Holy ground. Somebody say amen, amen. Praise be unto God. Is there another? Is there another? If so, raise your hand. Do we have another? Do we have another amen? Amen. Praise be unto God. Let's have our uh, benediction, amen. Come on, preachers, if y'all can line up, let's just have our benediction at this time. Dear Father God, we just come humbly before you. We thank you for sending us out better and stronger. Help us to be love agents, spreading your love locally, regionally, nationally, and globally. Dear Lord, help us to accept the calls that you have for us in our lives, individually, and collectively. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Now may the love of God, the grace of our Lord and Savior, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us until we come again. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Go in peace. by now they fall but you have never failed me waiting for a change to come knowing the battles won still you have never Fill me in. No. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Your faithfulness.